Hey, good morning. It's Tony here at Smart Motors Toyota in Madison, Wisconsin. Today's vehicle video, this brand new 2021 Toyota Tundra limited edition Crewmax 4x4. Super white's the color. This is your basic limited edition trim. Just a couple options on this one. So let's dive in and see what we have. Okay, beginning up front on the Limited. Limited is all about chrome. It's all about maybe old school, if you will. So lots of bling on the Limited Edition. This huge chrome grill up front, kind of a tier, two-tiered slatted chrome grill. This part up here does not open into the engine. Simply a styling cue. If you like chrome, you're going to love this truck. The uh, end caps on the bumpers are also chrome up front. So a lot of chrome LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, chrome bezels on the inside of the headlights. And then we do have LED fog lights standard up front on the limited edition with the uh, ABS plastic trim down here on the lower fascia. So a really big, bold, aggressive look. You can see those outside mirrors from here. Those are chrome accented as well. Here at the side of the limited edition, we've got a standard 20 inch lower profile wheel and tire package. So it's a silver aluminum wheel with gray painted inserts. We do have factory mud guards on the front and the rear. We've got front disc brakes, analog brakes, traction control. And of course this one is four wheel drive. So power to the front and rear wheels. Outside mirrors are uh, oversized with chrome caps. They do fold in, they also break away, and then they do have the heated element in there as well. Of course, they are power. 5.7 liter badging, chrome, tundra badging, chrome door handles, and the chrome limited badging here on the side. Limited does come with the smart keyless entry system, so you can leave your keys in your pocket and still get in. Notice your rear windows are tinted on the doors. Those are four full doors. No problem getting three adults in this truck for sure. Gas doors here on this side of the truck, wrap around tail lights, and there's those rear mud guards. Here at the uh, back of the Tundra, the tailgate is uh, stamped with Tundra here. They also offer an accessory for an insert for chrome or black badging. So that would be an extra charge. Door handle does have Toyota embossed in it. Here's your backup camera. It is a locking tailgate, so if you put a hard tonneau cover on there, you're gonna be able to lock up all your stuff inside. Four by four badging is chrome. We do have a step bumper with uh, chrome end caps, just like we saw on the front bumpers. Step bumper does include lights. Also, we have the, uh, it's pre-wired, four pin and seven pin. And we do have trailer brakes up front that you'll be able to modulate. Here's your trailer towing receiver. And then you do have a full-size spare tire. That's not an aluminum alloy tire, it's a temporary. Here's a quick look at your suspension up under, under the back with your leaf spring suspension with your shocks. So a pretty uh, solid suspension with that trailer towing package. As we dive into the uh, tailgate, this is one of those easy down tailgates so it doesn't just slam down. Now this one does have the Toyota factory spray in bed liner. That's an extra charge and it does come with a factory warranty and you can see it's stamped with Tundra. Tie down hooks at all four corners we do have a rail system. The tie down hooks are up in the cab. We'll show you those in just a little bit. And then up on top, you can see we have a cargo light and our third mounted brake light. And then the entire bed does have the over the wheel or over the lip protection as well. Keep your uh, bed from scratches and dents up on the top. Okay, heading inside the uh, Tundra Limited Stop here on the door. So there's some silver door handles. These are plastic, but they look nice on here. Another piece of silver trim here, padded armrest, 
power windows all the way around, but what's odd is only the driver's window has auto down. Kind of a miss there on a 2021. Power door locks, bottle holders down here, pockets in the doors, speakers in the doors. This does have the premium audio system, so it sounds pretty nice. Not the JBL system, that's extra charge. Here's your driver's seat, full power driver's seat with power lumbar support, side airbags, and these are indeed leather seats. So this is going to be a black leather seat with kind of a charcoal insert, very comfortable, adjustable headrest, adjustable height, adjustable seat belts. Both front driver and front passenger seats are power, but only the driver has the lumbar support. Controls down here for your mirrors, your cargo light, your headlight adjustment, um, your automatic high beams, and then this is for the rear window. So you, the one thing that sets this apart from other trucks is the rear window, that one back there, can be lowered up and down. So that's really great. Um, really opens up the airiness of it. Okay, behind the wheel on the uh, limited edition, it is a leather wrap steering wheel, very comfortable but not heated. Uh, on the left-hand side, it's controls for your sound system, Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone. And over here on the right-hand side, these are controls for the multi-information center, which is up in the gauge cluster. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. And then settings for our dynamic radar, cruise control on-off switch for our lane departure, and then cruise controls down here, kind of the traditional location on a Toyota. Wiper controls for up front, intermittent wipers up front, and then over on this side are the headlight controls, automatic headlights so they go on and off by themselves, as well as the automatic high beams. And then these are your, this is your control for your LED fog lights. Take a look at our gauge cluster. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, start it up so you can see what it looks like. Now the Limited does come with push button start and the key, uh, smart keyless entry system. So you really just have to have your, your keys in your pocket in order to start the truck. Foot on the brake. Let's go ahead and push that switch in. That kind of shows you what it looks like when you start it up in the morning. So a, a comprehensive gauge cluster. So it's a white, a black, a white on black analog gauge cluster, tachometer here, oil pressure, engine oil temperature, your battery voltmeter, gas gauge, and speedometer, so you have a complete package, which is something you want when you're gonna to be towing. Uh, we do have a heavy duty, heavy duty battery and alternator, so you wanna track that as you're towing. Down the center is the information center, and you can see we've got outside temperature. There's a digital speedometer, and then using the controls right here on the steering wheel, you can toggle through a variety of settings. So there's our compass. Here comes our um, uh, lane departure pre-collision, pre so we can go ahead and customize that based upon our own individual uh, preferences. Turning our attention over to the center stack, we go ahead and just uh, turn that into daytime mode. So our center stack is an eight inch touchscreen. This is the premium audio system, so it does come with dynamic navigation. It's a pretty darn good system. There is an upgrade to a JBL audio system if that's something you're interested in. Uh, with this particular one, you do pick up some extra speakers. There's a speaker up here in the center of the dash. So in, then in the back doors, there are speakers on the uh, upper, upper panels. Down here is our automatic temperature control. So we can set up two different temperatures, front driver, front passenger. We do have uh, heated seats up front. That's these switches right here. Uh, three temperatures. They're not ventilated seats. Once again, I think Toyota could have added those for 2021, but to no avail. Uh, as we turn our attention over this way, we're going to take a look at our four-wheel drive selector. Here's our uh, trailer brake, tow haul mode, and there's our push button start. Down here, we've got some USB ports for charging our devices, traction control, and then there's a 12 volt power port here as well. Cup holder, kind of an odds and ends tray right here. Two more cup holders here, surrounded by a chrome bezel. A nice place to throw your odds and ends, ink pens, what have you. Your shifter is uh, leather trimmed on the back side, and then kind of that brushed aluminum that we see throughout the cabin on the front side. 
Another odds and ends tray down here, great place to throw your pocket change, what have you. Your center armrest uh, does have another additional storage place right here, but this is not wireless charging. I would have liked to see wireless charging for smartphones to no avail in 2021. There's a limited badging here, and then the armrest itself is huge. I mean, clearly you can fit two arms on there, no problem. The storage console underneath is, is extra large. You can see how big this thing is. Uh, plenty of room in there. There's also a 12 volt charger or power port right there. And then on the back side, there is a place for tissues, ink pens, papers, what have you. So kind of a pseudo workstation, if you will. Take a look over at the passenger side. I want to kind of give you a, a glance of the dash. So the dashboard's padded. It does have these omnidirectional vents. And then there's a uh, some wood trim here on the dashboard as well. What's interesting is that's the only place there is wood trim. So not sure why they thought that was the only place to put it. Locking glove box. It's a great big uh, glove box. Of course, you do get your owner's manuals all wrapped up inside the glove box. Take a look up on the roof line. There's a passenger assist grip there. There's another one right here. This does sit up a little higher, so it's nice to have the ability to grab a hold if you need extra help getting in. Lighted vanity mirrors on both sides. The visors do not have extensions on them, but they do slide, so you can move them in and out for additional coverage. Overhead map lights are here. It's a nice place to throw your letters or papers, what have you. Safety connect. If you need help out on the road, go ahead and push that button. We'll get you the help you need through Toyota Safety Connect. Place here for your sunglasses. And then the Limited does come with an automatic dimming mirror. And there's also uh, home link switches there as well, so you can open your garage door. There is a lot of room up here, leg room, head room. If you're a big person, you're going to really appreciate the Tundra. Let's go ahead and jump in the back seat. Okay, jumping into the back seat on the door, I just wanted to point out a couple features. Again, with the uh, silver trim, power windows, bottle holders down there on the bottom of the door. We do have some additional speakers up here in the upper part. So there's actually two speakers in each of the two back doors. Now this is where the uh, Tundra really shines, in my opinion. The amount of room in this back seat. By far the most spacious back seat on any Toyota. Again, these are leather seats. Look at how much room there is between the front of the seat and the back of the front seat. Now, this does have a um, three passenger seating, three adults, no problem. Folding armrest with cup holders. You can see I've got 40% of the seat folded up on that side right there. And to bring these up, much easier than a Tacoma, there's just one handle. So one handle, one hand. Throw that up like that. Let's get it to lock in place. There we go. And then look at how much space there is. If you need to haul something, but you don't want to put it in the bed, you want to stow it up front, and you can really get a lot of stuff in here. There's a uh, first aid kit. These are the tie downs for the uh, bed rails in the back. We do have vents here, and we have a 12 volt power port but no USB power ports. Once again, I think another miss on Toyota's part. For 50 grand, you should have USB power ports. Also, pockets on the backs of the front seat, on the passenger seat, no pockets here. Overhead lighting up there. And then I went ahead and opened that rear window, rolled it down a little bit, but you can see that entire window slides down. So it's a really great feature if you wanna open it up and let the air come through. I love that feature about this truck. Tundra is uh, an amazing truck. A lot of good small features, but a lot of uh, small misses this year on the Tundra as well. So that's a quick look at the back seat. Okay, under the hood on the Tundra, Toyota offers just one engine for the Tundra. It's a 5.7 liter V8, 32 valve gasoline engine. Um, produces 381 horsepower, 401 foot-pounds of torque. It does come with a heavy-duty battery, alternator, transmission cooler for the towing on here. It's connected to a six-speed automatic transmission. We have part-time four-wheel drive. 
The rear axle is a 430, so a really great setup for towing. The uh, engine and transmission on Toyota, that's covered under a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. And then we have a three-year, 36,000-mile limited warranty, which covers everything in terms of manufacturer defect other than the engine and the transmission. And then, of course, every Toyota does come with Toyota Care. So Toyota Care is going to cover all of your basic maintenance for the first two years or 25,000 miles. So your oil changes, your fluid top-offs, and tire rotations, and of course you get roadside assistance. So it's a really good package. Toyota Care will save you hundreds of dollars over the first two years of ownership. Okay, so that's the uh, new 2021 Toyota Tundra limited edition standard package. The only thing extra on this one is the spray and bed liner. List price just under 50,000. Super white's the color. Hey, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to our channel. This is Tony here at Smart Toyota. Thanks for watching.